of the strange paradoxes of life is that we never seem to notice the true value of our friends only when they are no longer with us. Time and energy invades our world, giving very little time for reflective thought. Yet such is the quality of some individuals that every passing day their qualities invade and influence your own life. Charlie Bundrell was one of those people. Since the time of Charlie's sad death, when the waves of pain are replaced by the continuous ripple of emptiness, the warmth of the man reaches out to touch all who knew him. Strangely, Charlie was something of a paradox, a man of different societies and welcome in all walks of life. He appeared confident and creative, which he was. But like many other artists, the struggles and self-doubts were still there, available only to the specially privileged. Charlie was a poet. Very few realised the gifts and sensitivities of the man who warmed to everybody he knew, be they lords or commoners. A Manchester man through and through, he was hard-working, sensitive to people's feelings, striving for perfection, but also aware of other people's and his own limitations. He worked hard to improve the areas of life he considered himself to be deficient in. Teaching was one of these. In his own eyes, he knew there were very many things he had to learn, but he sought advice and changed to work with the team. Volleyball was a classic example of Charlie's ability to strive for better things. Constantly aware of his own inability, he played daily, encouraging the boys whilst improving his own skills. His inspiration for art, ceramics, surely stemmed from Peter Oliver, who was our art tutor at the School of Art, Manchester. After school years, he went to Bristol College of Art to study ceramics and later started his own pottery. The paradox of Charlie continues because he enjoyed travel and freedom and yet longed to settle into comfort and domesticity. Like a homing pigeon crossed with an owl. He loved to hunt in the night spots, but he also loved solitude. Everybody knew a part of Charlie. Nobody knew his all, but every contradiction was a true reflection of the man. Who will ever forget his little fat dog, Josie, and the blue and yellow Morris fan? I suspect the car park was built across the road so that Charlie wouldn't leave his van on campus and spoil parking spaces for the vehicles of visiting parents. My life is richer and warmer for knowing him. He was a wonderful man to work with, enthusiastic and creative and always willing to support the team. In friendship, he was sensitive to my needs, sharing with his own. A great loss to us all, yet he left so much of himself for us that we will always be, he'll always be remembered with great affection. In the warm moments of life, he still reaches me. But in the cold light of morning, the emptiness stimulates the aching mind to positive thought. He will always remain with me, and for that I'm pleased.